Citizens from across Michigan will begin collecting signatures today to put a constitutional amendment on the November ballot. This amendment, simply put, will enshrine our, into our state constitution the basic right for every worker to collectively bargain. Collective bargaining gives all workers a voice, it helps workers negotiate a fair contract, it keeps workers safe, and it keeps the families they serve safe as well. Collective bargaining is the one safeguard middle class families have against the corporate greed and excess that we're experiencing now. Without these protections, CEOs can arbitrarily fire workers, cut wages, and outsource jobs to countries like China and Mexico. Michigan workers helped create the middle class, and now we must protect our collective bargaining rights to re rebuild our economy. Lansing politicians and corporate special interests are eroding the middle class by passing laws that help rich CEOs and attack basic collective bargaining rights. Michiganders are already suffering thanks to the actions of politicians in Lansing. In just last year, the legislature has passed laws that have hurt children, seniors, and families while doing nothing to jumpstart our economy. It was just a year ago that they cut more than a billion dollars from schools and raised taxes on our senior citizens just to pay for a $1.8 billion tax break for corporate special interests like insurance companies, big banks, and oil companies. Now politicians have about 80 bills lined up that are designed to undermine <coughs> and circumvent or eliminate the right to collective bargaining. These bills take clear aim at the workplace rights of people like our police officers, our teachers, our firefighters, our nurses, and many more. Without these basic collective bargaining protections, CEOs and other administrators can and do fire workers for no particular reason. They can and do cut wages for workers simply because they want to increase profits or punish workers. They can and do eliminate retirement and health care benefits, often while increasing their own. And they can and do outsource jobs to China and Mexico, which does very little to help the middle class here in Michigan. The middle class was created right here in Michigan, and we refuse to be victims of Lansing politicians who attack decent people's right to discuss and protect their wages benefits, and workplace safety. Let me take one more quick moment to tell you specifically what this a constitutional amendment would do. Because there will be a lot of people who will want to tell you it is about a lot of other things that it isn't. The proposed constitutional amendment would establish the people's right to organize, to form, join, or assist unions and to bargain collectively regarding their wages, hours, and other conditions of employment. It would prohibit employers from retaliating against employers or employees for exercising those rights. And it would prohibit government from interfering with those rights. Because Lansing says constantly, they are about less government intervention. It would also protect current laws establishing minimum wage, hours, and working conditions. It would also authorize the state to restrict or prohibit public employee strikes. This amendment provides a needed counterweight to politicians and CEOs who care more about protecting their huge bonuses than doing what's right for middle class families and children in this state. As Dr. King said, if not here, where? If not now, when? We are here today to protect collective bargaining rights, to keep a good quality of life and good working conditions for Michiganders. And this amendment does just that and nothing else. I want everybody to do me a favor. The next time you're in a hospital visiting a loved one or family member, or they can be both, uh, ask the RN how many patients they are caring for at the same time. Make sure you pay attention to that RN's reply. If your loved one is in a general care unit and the RN's answer is, they're taking care of more than four patients, research shows that your loved one's chances of, of acquiring a hospital-borne infection, an untoward injury, or death dramatically increases. 
All too often, we know the horror stories about seriously ill patients not getting the care that they need because there are too few RNs caring for too many patients. When healthcare professionals talk at the bargaining table during collective bargaining, the first the first subject we talk about is the ratio of RNs and other health care givers to patients. Make no mistake, make no mistake, this is not about health care professionals complaining about being overworked. This is about public safety. This is about protecting patients and ensuring that they have the resources they need to, to heal and to return to health. Protecting collective bargaining rights is very important to me. It doesn't only protect our middle class, but it also protects our children as well. Last year, politicians cut $1 billion from Michigan schools to pay for a tax cut for big businesses. Educators had no say in this decision, but we certainly have felt the impact of it. Our students have felt the impact of it as well, and schools struggle to do more with less each day. Teachers had no say in this decision, to take money from our children's education to pad the pockets of the wealthy CEOs. <clears throat> However, collective bargaining can help us protect our students in other ways. Without collective bargaining, educators would have no say in the number of children allowed in each classroom. Anyone who's ever been in a room full of kids, like I have, knows what kind of an impact large class sizes have on our children's education. Every student needs one-on-one -on -one attention from their teachers almost every day. Without having the option to take a stand to limit the class sizes, through collective bargaining, that one-on-one -on -one time could disappear altogether. My name's Aaron. I'm uh, not a worker. worked at Ford Motor Company for 22 years. I'd just like to say to everybody, uh, strong middle class here in Michigan is very essential. Uh, middle class is the engine that helps drive the American economy. And when workers have chances at uh, jobs that pay good wages and benefits, you have a better chance of putting gas in your tank and groceries on your table, and you're able to pay your mortgage every month. And when we have a stronger middle class here in the state, it, it'll help small businesses. It'll help small businesses grow and hire more workers. And to, to get this economy rolling, we should all be working together here, not fighting each other. And that's business, labor, government, taxpayers alike. Because when you have a stronger middle class, you're able to protect the workers and you're able to protect that middle class. And we should protect our rights to collectively bargain that gives all workers a better chance at coming to the to table and negotiating a fair contract. And now, more than ever, you have working men and women who are willing to speak up to protect their wages, their benefits, and that means protecting their rights to collectively bargain. I'd like to thank you.